it's an exclusive today on Morning Mix. We're happy to announce the return of the 2024 Barnwell Sundial Festival coming to downtown Barnwell on May 10th and 11th. That's right. Joining us this morning is Sundial Festival CEO Ashley Culp, CFO Amy Davis, and you might recognize this guy from being on our show before, as American Idol contestant and musician Warren P. Hey, guys. Hi. Hey, thanks for joining thanks us. Thanks to be here. Good to see you. Uh, we're happy to be part of this because uh, actually we're one of the sponsors here for this year's Sundial Festival, so very happy to be part of that. For those who may not be aware of the event, tell us a little bit about the Sundial Festival. Well, it's an event that we have on the circle. Um, you know, somebody said one time, well, it's not unique, and I go, yes, it is. It's a freaking circle, so it is actually uh, pretty unique in my eyes. But uh, yeah, we have a festival right there on our circle in downtown. It's right in front of our courthouse. It's, um, we actually celebrate the Sundial. It's actually a uh, the only upright working sundial in the United States and so we just have a festival focused around it I did not know that I didn't either. And look at all of this video, too. So this year it's expanded to a two-day festival, so you have a couple days to get out there and have fun. Let's go over some of the highlights, starting with the artisanal marketplace. The two-day event, this year we're adding the Friday, so we will have select vendors that will come in on starting on Friday. Mm -hmm. Then it will, they'll flow over until Saturday and we'll add other vendors then as well as our food vendors. All right, and of course, talking about food, no oh, festival is complete without really Ooh, good food and sure. drinks. What are we gonna have out there? Uh, right now, we've got some barbecue, some um, cheeseburgers, some, there's a lot of different foods and a cake in a jar. Um, well, why not? Yes. <laughs> I mean, sounds good. A little bit of everything. So if you're in the taste yes. for something, you'll most likely find it there is what it sounds like. all kinds of things to choose from. Ooh, okay. I'm excited about that. So in addition to all of the good food and everything going on, there are also some family-friendly events taking place. Absolutely. Uh, matter of fact, on the way here, we we're actually talking about uh, having something for teenagers this year. It's actually one of our first things that we've had, and I don't want to talk about it because we haven't put that in stone yet, but we are going to reach out to somebody about that, and I think that'll be great. Um, but yeah, we do. We actually have a family-friendly kid zone where kids can come out, and we shut off the circle so we don't have cars riding around it. Right. We make it so that it, uh, I like to think of it as uh, Disney World, a very friendly. Um, we want your kids to have a good time. We want you to have a good time um, but yeah we do we actually have a, a like little games and prizes and different things and face painting we usually have somebody come out and do free face painting and stuff so we will have little things like that Barnwell world that's what I'll do <laughs> that's a good one <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, and then of course the biggest addition like you said we're kicking off uh, with Friday mm -hmm. uh, local musician Warren Pay performing live good to see you again good to be here yeah. this is uh, this is gonna be so exciting. We love to be able to come play hometown type shows mm -hmm. and uh, got deep roots in Barnwell, lots of family and friends in Barnwell. So we're happy to be able to do this. We have uh, Dylan Carter that was on The Voice last year. He's going right. to be opening up for us as well as another Barnwell area native, uh, Gage Cagle. He's going to be there as well. Definitely want to check that out. That is the uh, being announced right now today. That's the exclusive here for you. There you uh, go. <laughs> what's it like coming back home and performing for the hometown? It is always awesome to be back home to get to play and, and to perform for all the people who I've known growing up and friends that I've made here along the way and just to, you know, be home. Mm -hmm. it's, it's something about being in your hometown area that is just special. And you don't want to miss Warren's performance, okay? If you didn't watch him when he was on the show, go back online and check him out because his voice is just amazing. So well, glad to see you. you back. And let's just go over the details for people that want to come out to the festival. Okay. Um, well, we're going to have it, of course. We're going to have it Friday. Um, we're going to start the first festival at 11 a.m. Um, it's going to be a little smaller, uh, but we are going to have vendors out there from 11 to 5. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're going to start our concert at 6.30. And you do need a ticket for the concert. You can go on barmelsundial.com uh, and pay for that. But it is free to come to the markets on Friday and on Saturday. Um, now, on Saturday, our festival is going to be from 10 to 4. And there you go. But you can go on BarmelSundial.com and find out all the information that you need on there. All right. Get those tickets for the big Friday night concert uh, featuring so many. Uh, it's good to see you guys. Thanks for joining Thank us you. here. Thank Great you so much here. for Thank having us. Yeah. Let's check.